for most of us who are born and brought up in Turkana, Kakuma used to be a grazing area uh, right from across the river. This was a thick forest. We have relatives here, and during school, after school, during holidays, would come home. After the settlement of refugees, Kakuma has never been the same until today. Today, we are here uh, to witness one of the programs that are supposed to introduce the concept of water conservation and how we, we maximize use and reuse of the diminished uh, resources that we have in this county. In Turkana County, GIZ has been implementing interventions in various fields such as energy, employment and entrepreneurship, agri-nutrition, peaceful conflict resolution, water and sanitation, among others. The support to refugees and health communities in Kenya, the project called SRHC, uh, set foot in Turkana West Sub County in 2015 already, with the aim to improve the living conditions of refugees and the local population here in a gender sensitive manner. As you might know, Kenya is currently home to more than 600,000 refugees and asylum seekers and the Trukana West Subcountry around hosts over 250,000. Kakuma Refugee Camp was originally built to host about 140,000 people, so it exceeded its capacity so far and a long time ago. Coupled with a growing population within the hosting community, water and sanitation access is bound to become a bigger challenge among others. To help address the, this situation, the German Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, BMZ, uh, funded 200 improved toilets and 10 water kiosks, which are constructed by GIZ. However, construction of toilets alone does not solve the environmental problems resulting from discharge fecal matter into the environment. Therefore, we went one step further and this decentralized treatment plant was constructed. The aim of DTF is to treat fecal sludge for safe release of the effluent into environment. Some of benefits include improved hygiene, pro uh, production of reusable water and low operational and maintenance costs. It is anticipated that this facility will directly and indirectly benefit 9,000 people in Kakuma municipality. This remarkable achievement made possible through the funding of the German government and implemented by the GIZ SRHC program symbolizes the strong partnership between Germany and Kenya in addressing crucial environmental challenges and fostering sustainable development. This decentralized treatment facility stands as a testament to our commitment to improving sanitation and hygiene conditions while fostering resource recovery. Moreover, the opening of this facility marks a significant milestone in the transformation of Kakuma. The decentralized treatment facility will not only provide tangible benefits to the community of Kakuma, but will also serve as a model for other regions facing similar challenges. It highlights the importance of preserving our natural resources and embracing sustainable solutions in all aspects of development. As GIZ hands this facility over to Turkana County government today, we trust that it's now in very able and component hands for operationalization. The Turkana County government representatives have been trained on how to use the facility and were provided with manuals. Thank you again for this initiative and we look forward to making sure that this project is uh, a success.